everyone, Merrick here, and welcome back to our Atomic Society Society, which is societying the best that it can. And it's, um... Well, I mean, it is what it is. Our people are dying, but not as quickly as we're getting them sometimes. Well, I... I don't, I don't, I don't make the babies, okay? I don't do that. I, I mostly just bring people into their slow, agonizing death within my colonies. That tends to be my management style. So, you know, just expect that. What is this? Oh, it's a hospital. How delightful. We have hospitals now. I think I already had one. We have two now. That's right. I wanted two hospitals to see if I could cure the disease that is murdering my people's insides so far with the gassy green pume pumes plumes it's pretty bad so yeah it says that our inventory is still full even though our guy's inventory isn't full how full is your inventory doodle doodle why are people going inside you doodle you have a bunch of people in you mm. no i want i want my personal inventory there we go. Right click on him. See? Slots used. Zero. Inventory empty. And yet it tells me my inventory is still full. Oh well. I'm stuck on a floating building. Okay, so um, I reported the bug where we were having the, the issue on the canyon map to the developer. Two things. One, known issue. Two, Canyon map is a really buggy map right now, so it's not the best map for us to have started on. And the bug isn't a piece of terrain like I thought. It's actually a super stretched out dead person. So eventually it would have gone away. Ooh, we can convert that into a storehouse. Convert it into a storehouse. We're going to convert that. We're going to convert that into housing. There you go. You want to live far away. You can. I don't know why I just made them all Scottish. These are all Scottish. That guy died Scottish. He was he was here and then he died. I guess I need some more crematoriums. Let's get some crematoriums going. Um, crematory. Oh, look at these nice new houses. Let's put a crematory behind there. Look, it's the apocalypse, okay? You don't get to tell me that you want pretty houses with no crematories behind them in your backyard. That just makes your going to work that much more convenient. We, we are looking to get to 200 people. Uh, I will say this. This. No, my wife hates it when I do that. Um... Uh, I am probably going to not make another episode of this one until um, we get another update. So more than likely, this will be the last episode if we hit 200. If not, if not, we'll go back into another episode to see if we can hit 200. So let me let me phrase that in a much more elegant way. Oh, you died right next to the hospital. Um, if we hit when we hit 200, this will be the end of our uh, our our playthrough of this version of the game. Um, the developers have said that they um, push an update every two to three months. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's a really good, really good pace. We're out of resources. Interesting. Do I have scavengers at my scavenger hut? I mean, I only have one scavenger hut. Um, let's open those positions and get more scavengers. Our town is growing. People are happy. Nobody's starting any trouble right now. I mean, I guess they might be. Um, deposit all your resources. All storehouses are full. All storehouses are full. Um, I don't know why you ran with me on the camera, but we go do that. Hire workers. Oh, we got we got people. Oh, we got 127 people. Wow, that's 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 a that's a good number. Can you scavenge that? Your inventory's still full, huh? All right. Well, why don't you go build that? Um, 
A lot of people just standing around. Do we have other places where I've locked down rolls that I don't need to do that anymore? I thought I had... We don't need we don't need to to staff people in the crapper at least. I thought I had. Um eh, camera stop it. Cam camera. Camera controls are really sensitive. That's that's not necessarily the game, that's just me not working my mouse properly. Okay. Food's growing. Info, that's our storehouse. First aid tent. We got plenty of workers there. Um, town hall. Everybody's working. We have enforcers. And morale officers. Yeah, it looks like everything's going. Unless there's prisoners. We have a lot of prisoners. A lot of people have been murdering people. 10 out of 10. Would uh would build another prison. Um, prison. I am out of scrap metal. All right, are our storehouses full? Yes, they're full of rubble. Let's get rid of like ten rubble. Oh, you can't type in it. Developers, let me type in typey boxes. Thank you. All right, then we're going to destroy seven wood. All right, we're building that. I would like to see some metal. You're fully staffed. You have no staff. We'll get you staffed up as soon as we get people in. We had a little bit of die off. Five people are gone. I didn't want them anyways. I lied. I wanted them. But what are you going to do? You can't force them to live. No matter how many times I try. Live, you bastards! No. Okay. So we do We do have people serving sentences. I think that's kind of cool. This is, this is a short stay for murder. Yeah, it's fair enough. I'm not going to run it like the American prison systems. I'm not going to have most of my population in jail. Ooh. Ooh. Too political? Too mean? Too real? I don't think so. I think it's all fine. I get to say those things because I live in America and I recognize the fact that our prison system is stupid. We imprison way too many of our own people. And we should stop. Oh, we have chapel. I forgot about that. We got a dead guy right outside the chapel. Just reminding everybody of their mortality. Um, Prison? I can build one now. Beautiful. I do wish our scavengers would do a better job of managing... Um, types of, of stuff that they store. Like, we have one scrap metal... Yeah, we don't we don't need our our stuff to fill up with other things. We need them to focus on scrap metal. Maybe if we had like the ability to set priorities for scavengers, like prioritize scrap metal. That would work. But I don't know. My inventory's full, so I can't send my dude out. I don't know why his inventory's full. It's really not. Come over here. Right over here. Alright, deposit your inventory. Deposit your inventory. Deposit. Alright, so we, we apparently do have stuff on our guy. It just says our inventory is empty. Either that or our scavengers just happened to time it so that we were filling up a little ahead of schedule. Uh, scavenger hut? Is that what I want? No, I want storage, don't I? No storehouse. Sometimes it flashes green and it doesn't really mean to be green. Ooh, that time it does. 
Man, look at our little town. This is actually really cool. Why don't you go help build that? Thank you. We got a bumping little civilization here. Look at it. Ah, this game is awesome. This game is exactly what we want in like a a Fallout style RTS God game. What are you doing? Disposing of bodies to the crematory. Their health bar is decreasing. Well, you're glitched out. Why don't you go to the... Are you, is it just taking that long for you to do your job? Or are you actually just glitched out? I mean, she is freaking out. Look at her. I don't think she's well. I think... I think Okay, no, no, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, I don't, I don't know where I've gone. I've gone somewhere. I've gone, I've gone somewhere. All right, we, we have jobs open for people. I was trying to get a closer look at her face to see what she is thinking. She's gone now. I don't know if she died or if she picked up both of those bodies and left now that I wasn't bothering her. And sorry for the camera movements. That is entirely my fault. It looks like she picked up those bodies and skedaddled, so I'm not going to worry about it. They're just... Look, look, he's doing the same thing. Oh, it's another lady. I've seen things, stuff and things, Lori. I'm doing what I have to. Twitching, picking up bodies, and I'm cleaning up the damned and the dead. Hooray! And our population's falling. Hooray! But our happiness is rising. Hooray! I like the happiness rising bit. We could use an influx of, of of people. We don't we don't have any we have so many empty houses. I have way too many empty houses, but I wanted it to look nice. Build that. We're gonna build all these houses. And then we're gonna have just hundreds of people coming out to us. Oh, we converted that into housing already. That's kind of neat. 15 people can sleep in this like remote ass village where they'll starve to death. <laughs> Why did I do that? Because I can. All right. Come on. Weary travelers. Convert that to a storehouse. I wish you could cancel buildings like that. Cause maybe I just took some scavengeables away. Oh well. It is what it is. Our pop has fallen a bit. That's okay. Go uh go convert that. There he goes. Run, 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 for a one-year-old. This man is doing an amazing job at running this. We haven't hit a year yet. We're coming up on a year, though. But we do need a population boom in order to staff our new prison. Looks like some people got released. Yeah, welcome back to society, murderers. Could you stop murdering people, please? I would appreciate it. Let's go to our town hall. Nope, that's a clinic. Info. Um, I think we've done everything we can do with our town hall right now. We just, we have our, our enforcers and where we punish people. 
Oh, no, they're serving long sentences, not short sentences. That's right. I put them in a long prison stay to make them really learn their lesson. Eh. It's all right. Ten more days and we hit a year. Woo! -hoo! Unless, of course, the years changed since we've been in the apocalypse. What if a year is... 375 days and 300 instead of 365 what if the earth was hit so hard with nukes we are now in a longer orbit around our sun and our moon is gone and the world is never mind it's probably still 365 yeah because I mean that if it wasn't that would that would pose a whole new set of problems 60% happiness. You know what? That's better than 50%. I'm doing good. Pretty happy with that. Real sad about how many people are dying, though. Look at that. 110. 109. This is the developer secretly killing off my entire population very quickly. Um, with the intent of, of making me do more episodes. I really wish there was like a pop screen where I can see what my population is and what the results of of their death was. Look, our enforcers are dying off. Oh man, this is bad. We're gonna start having a bunch of vacancies. Once the enforcers die off, that's when it ends. That's when the prisons really get started. That's when things get dark and scary and long. When death is around every corner. When all you know is that tonight might be your last night. As Merrick the Mad Butt Stabber springs from the darkness and stabs you right in the butt. Hurrah! Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Nobody knows what he's doing. He's, he's mad. He's a loon. He runs around building buildings. He's one years old. He organized an entire colony at one years old. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Look at him. He's just, he's just running. Why? He doesn't know. Hell, you don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Except for the fact that we don't have any enforcers. I can't get out of here. There we go. I'm just going to run away and leave them. Less than 100 people. Damn. Yeah, we're dropping like 60 people now. Alright. Ahoy there, mateys. How are you? Hey, our food's going to be great, though. I was told also you can't kill off this guy, so we're, we're going to be goofy. Yes, yes, I am the Lord here now. All that was once alive and is now irradiated is mine. Ooh, a boat. That's my boat. I found it. It's mine. Hello, boat. Come on, boat. You and me, we're gonna be we're gonna be there together forever. Oh shit! I've got inventory space. What? I got some salvaged belongings. Yeah. This boat is my greatest boat. This boat. A derelict fishing boat. It's whole rusted and rotten. It will never sail again. Oh. But boat, no. Inventory full. That I will believe. Let's go back. Running, 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 running. Hey guys, running, running, running. I'm just assuming there's somebody in that church, converted into housing. Do 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 do. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the mountain. Skyrim it. Be the Skyrim horse you know to be. Uh. Oh no, it hit space trying to jump. It's not that kind of game. Can't jump. Clearly, I am athletically incapable of jumping. Run down the mountain. 
Hosanna the highest. Okay. So we got out of there. I think we're on the back side of our town. There's a dead body. If you start seeing the dead, you know you're you're getting close to America run colony. Cause that's that's how you can tell. I think I've passed it. I'm not seeing any more dead bodies. Better loop back. Yeah. I don't recognize any of these trees. I recognize that though. That's a pole. They use it to hold power lines. There it is. That dead body didn't lie. I just went the wrong way. <laughs> 106 pop. Do we have any enforcers now? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. We do have enforcers, by the way. Go. All right. Use the AI when you have to. Um. Rip. Oh, the tree's in the way. I know there's one down here. All storehouses full. I guess I'm going to hold those in my pocket. It does look like there's going to be another episode, by the way. We're, we're not even back to where we were when we started the episode. Oh, that's kind of depressing. I like that population boom, though. Did, did we just imprison a whole bunch of people? We did, but we don't have any employees for that prison. That means that we have so many open positions. It's redonk. Artwork, huh? Let's put another Oppenheimer down. Ye old Oppenheimer, eh? Beautiful. Beautiful. I am become death, destroyer of worlds. That's the quote. Ah, I butchered it in the last episode. Apologies for that. Good old Oppenheimer. Poor guy. Damn, I built that fast. I love this statue. I hope this statue never changes. I would like it to be called the Oppenheimer statue, though. Like, put his name right there, just Oppenheimer. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little twisted that we're, you know, recognizing and celebrating the thing that destroyed our kind our world, but at the same time, I really understand, you know, I, I understand the the desire to to embrace that which has changed the world so much. And then that guy is the first guy we murder. And we just pretend isn't dead because that guy's a douche hole. That statue, though, it's so creepy, but I love that it's at the beginning of town, like right down the hill. You're going to, you crest the hill and you're like, oh man, I can't believe we found this town. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, you know, they have food and water and. Plenty of work, I guess. You know, I, I guess we have to, but... Ooh. That's a little creepy. Oh, and look, there's several death statues. And well, at least there's a torch and a bunch of dead bodies and disease. And I just saw 17 people die. But hey, they're really friendly and really happy. Over 59% are happy. That's that's not true. Only 59% are happy now. That's because some of the happy people died. But hey, with less population comes more food production. So food is good. <laughs> you got you to gotta justify it, man. You got to get out there and be like, hey, that's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. The livestock ranch. And we'll build another storehouse. I wish I could have like a larger storehouse. Like a storehouse and then a warehouse. Because our storehouses get full of water. Can you dictate what gets put in a storehouse? I don't know. 
I'm gonna have him build that and then we're gonna see actually I could probably just click on one of my storehouses here you can I tell you what to put in there yeah we, we have so much water from the water well it's filling everything up I'm pretty sure if I took out like a collective 100 water it really wouldn't hurt much yeah I, mean, I didn't do anything all right but we do need we can't set quotas at least not there I don't think we could set them here I could reduce the number of workers I have there let's do that instead of three people let's do two we're gonna free up a worker at each well just we'll have one working and one delivering at all times at those those at the main wells also known as the main wells go build that since they're building the other thing and you already built that storehouse okay so now we got we got some more happiness because we got more prisoners or employees work in prisons 118 pop now but our work shortage is is alleviating it looks like right up until the point where I put two new jobs out there hey so to answer my previous prediction I was wrong I will not be ending the series just yet because I need 200 people before I do so we're going to continue to build and grow and collect new people. And then we're going to harvest their souls and make them permanent residents of our world. One of us. One of us. Ooh, two more people to work. Uh... Oh, that person is collecting our water and it's called an uh, caught an uncurable plague delightful welcome to town lovely employee number seven we have one person working that so yeah we, we do have a major pop shortage um Not real sure what to do about that. Alright, is my inventory empty? As a, as, a, as a character? And a person? Have I successfully emptied it? No. Convert or build more storehouses. It's the story of this game right now. Storehouses. Oh, that person just fell over dead. Oh, that person just fell over dead and fell down the hill. That one is going to do the same, I bet. Dehydrated, thirsty. Oh, stop it. Get out of that view. They're stuck. They're just stuck there. They won't move, so they're just going to die. So it does look like there's a bit of a glitch here. The AI is getting stuck on the terrain on this map. Or he just can't make up his mind. He just stands there and twitches a whole bunch. I think that might be an... And I'm, I'm postulating here. I could be talking out of my ass. Uh, I think that might be an AI issue where they're just they're, they're trying to decide what to do. They need both urgently and they stand there and die. Like that guy. What did you die of? I can't I can't do a post mortem. Alright, we should add a morgue so that we can do post mortems to determine why our people are dying. That'd be nice. I don't even know if that's that's something that they've ever thought of or that they would like to do. 
I wouldn't mind. But we, we have hit 30 minutes and we're barely back where we used to be. But our town is banging. I mean, look at that. That is a place that somebody, like those people right there, would like to be at. It's not necessarily a place I'd like to be at, but, you know... I'm not in the game. I'm just an outside influence. Our happiness has taken a big old dumper. It's just plopped right all over the floor. Mmm. Mmm. I, I ain't happy. Well, I think I need a new tavern. We just got a group of people in. That's good. I really should stop playing. Said I'm gonna see if I can build another tavern on the hill. Oh come on, green! You're killing me, smalls. Ooh, wait, wait, wait! I can't rotate the other direction. No, I can't rotate the other direction. Come on! It, 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 it. All right, new tavern. Get it. If we can't win them with hygiene, we'll win them with alcohol. 59% approval rating of my tavern building. Just gotta, gotta put that out there. Man, we are losing a lot of people, though. A lot of plague victims. Mm. I wouldn't mind a research lab so that we could research a cure for the plague as well guy that just comes out and like gets the bodies instead of taking them to the crematorium and and you know works on them there you go that's nice and creepy i like that you know you just he collects them old school style you know that's what they used to do back in the day bring me your dead no I'll, I'll pay you money bring me a couple bodies to experiment on i believe benjamin franklin had a couple bodies in his in his actual basement where he would experiment on them. This is what you did. I think we should bring that back. Where a doctor just comes in and chops up some dead people. <laughs> Maybe a few live ones, but he's the doctor, you know. You gotta let him try things. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, some in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube late in order to get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.